Welcome to this daily office with the Iona community, which is taken from the Iona Abbey worship book. The service follows the form of morning prayer which we use on Iona, and so there are different prayers and psalms each day, and, over the course of each month, a cycle of prayers for the world, for different communities, and for the concerns of the Iona community. The service is interactive and you are invited to join with the responses, psalm and prayers. You'll see all the words you need on the screen. Through the week you will also hear different voices, those of staff, of members, of associates and of their families, responding along with you. The world belongs to God, the, the earth and all its people. How good it is, how wonderful, to live together in unity. Love and faith come together, justice, justice and peace join hands. If Christ's disciples keep silent, these stones would shout aloud. Open our lips, O God, and, and our, our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Move among us, God, give us life. Let your people rejoice in you. Give us again the joy of your help. With your spirit of freedom, sustain us. God, make our hearts clean. Restore us in body, mind and spirit. Let us pray. Trusting in God's forgiveness, let us in silence confess our failings and acknowledge our part in the pain of the world. Before God, with the people of God, I confess to turning away from God in the ways I wound my life, the lives of others and the life of the world. May God forgive you, Christ renew you and the Spirit enable you to grow in love. Amen. Before God, with the people of God, we confess to turning away from God in the ways we wound our lives, the lives of others, and the life of the world. May God forgive you, Christ renew you, and the Spirit enable you to grow in love. Amen. Amen.
Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us in the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The Response of Faith With the whole church, we, we affirm that we are made in God's image, befriended by Christ, empowered by the Spirit. With people everywhere, we affirm God's goodness at the heart of humanity, planted more deeply than all that is wrong. With all creation, we celebrate the miracle and wonder of life, the unfolding purposes of God, forever at work in ourselves and the world. Psalm 96 Sing a new song, all the earth. Sing a new song to God. Sing and bless the holy name. Let God's salvation be praised each day. Declare God's glory among the nations. Tell all people what God has done. God is great, deserving of worship, worthy of praise more than worldly idols. Earthly day it is a custom built, but God is the maker of all. Sing, Sing a, a new, new song, all the earth. earth. Sing, Sing a new song to, to God. God. Honour and splendour belong to God, in whose sanctuary are beauty and strength. Give God the glory, you families of nations, offering your gifts in God's house. Praise the Creator, clothed in holiness. Tremble with reverence, all the earth. Say to the nations, our God reigns, the world is stable, it shall not be moved. God will judge it with fairness. Sing, Sing a, a new song, song all the earth. earth. Sing, Sing a new song to God. God. Let heaven be glad, let earth rejoice. Let the sea roar and all its creatures. Let the fertile fields honour their maker. Let the trees of the forest sing for joy, for God is coming to judge the earth. The world shall be judged with justice, its nations judged with truth. Sing, sing a, a new, new song, song all, all the earth. earth. Sing, sing a new, new song, song to, to God. God. Listen now in the reading of scripture for the word and wisdom of God. The reading is taken from the first letter.
For the word of God in scripture, for the word of God among us, for the word of God within us, thanks, thanks be, be to, to God. God. If you believe and I believe and we together pray, the Holy Spirit must come down and set God's people free, and set God's people free. Pentecost, 1963, Iona. I looked out to sea, which seemed calm. I looked at nearby trees, which seemed still. And then I saw the corner of the carpet rippling up and down. I woke my wife, who not unreasonably suggested that someone must have left the front door or one of the windows open. I examined all doors and windows, returned again and shut the door of our room, but the carpet was still rippling like a moving yet somehow static snake. Then later, as I crossed toward the abbey, I was still aware of this wind which somehow was, was not blowing me about. And into my mind came the first Pentecost after Easter, with its sound as of the rushing of a mighty wind, and it filled the house where they were sitting. This biblical language precisely described my present experiences. I began to wonder whether I was becoming slightly light-headed with all that had been going on late into the night and now so early in the morning. That gave way to the question whether in myself I ever really expect anything overtly spiritual to happen. If hundreds of people came to Iona at Pentecost, say, Determined to partake of the Holy Sac Sacrament together, the whole Church for the first time for centuries, if they've all been praying for a great day, is it really so extraordinary that some thing should happen? We pray for the priorities and concerns of the Iona community, for the world, for members of the Iona community and their families, and for associate members. On the sixth day of the month, we pray for the ecumenical movement, ecumenical organisations and bodies in our own countries and worldwide, the Iona Cathedral Trustees. And we pray for the leaders and peoples of the countries of Austria, Liechtenstein, Switzerland, Germany, Belgium, Luxembourg and the Netherlands.
We pray for the Iron Community members belonging to the Family Group of Central Scotland. Jenny Barr, Alan Miller and Lucy Miller, Betty Milne, Joyce Muir and Ken, Margaret Stewart and Frank. On the sixth day of this month, we pray for associate members in the Netherlands. Walk with them today, O oh God and keep us on your way. God, in whose heart is love and justice, show us this day whom we must love and what we should challenge or change in order that your will for the earth might be done. Increase our hope, dispel our apathy, inspire our imagination and deepen our commitment until we become the signs of your kingdom for which we and others pray. Amen. This is the day that God has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We will not offer to God offerings that cost us nothing. Go in peace to love and to serve. We will seek, seek peace and, and pursue, pursue it. In the name of the Trinity of love, God, God in community, holy and one.